Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Today we are going to a new topic. Factorization. David's father gave 12 stones to David and his brother and asked to divide those between them equally. Can you say how can they divide it equally? Yes, there is a total of 12 stones. If they are taking the stones one by one, each get six stones in all. Here, we can see the stones were arranged in two groups, and each group contained six stones. So we can represent the total stones as 12 is equal to 6 multiplied by 2. That is, here we break the larger number 12 as the product of two smaller numbers, 6 and 2. This process is called factorization. Here 6 and 2 are the factors of 12. So factorization is the process in which a number is broken down into smaller numbers, which when multiplied together gives the original number. Can you find any other factors for 12? Yes, we can write 12 as 1 multiplied by 12 and 3 multiplied by 4. Therefore, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Let's take another number 30. It can be factorized as 30 is equal to 1 multiplied by 30 or 30 is equal to 2 multiplied by 15 or 30 is equal to 3 multiplied by 10 or 30 is equal to 5 multiplied by 6. Therefore, the factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. In previous grades, we learned that a number can be expressed as the product of its prime factors. Among the factors of 30, 2, 3, and 5 are the prime factors. So we can represent the number 30 in prime factorization as 30 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. Similarly, we can factorize an algebraic expression and it can be expressed as the product of its factors. Before that, can you say, what is an algebraic expression? Yes, the arithmetic measures, made up of variables and constants, are called algebraic expressions. We discuss the details in the chapter, Algebraic Expressions and Identities. Let's take an algebraic expression 10xy. How can it be factorized? We can write 10 as 2 multiplied by 5 and xy as x multiplied by y. Therefore, 10xy can be written as 10 multiplied by xy, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by x multiplied by y. Since this is an algebraic expression, we use the word irreducible instead of prime. So the irreducible form of 10xy is 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by x multiplied by y and 2, 5, x and y are the irreducible factors of 10xy. Let's see another example. Write 6x multiplied by 2x plus y in its irreducible form. Here, we can write 6 as 2 multiplied by 3. Therefore, 6x multiplied by 2x plus y can be written as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by x multiplied by 2x plus y, which is the irreducible form. And 2, 3, x, and 2x plus y are the irreducible factors of the given expression. Today we discussed what factorization is and expressed an algebraic expression in irreducible form. Also identify the irreducible factors of the given algebraic expression. 
Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Write the following algebraic expression in its irreducible form. First one, a 9xy square. Second is 11ab multiplied by a plus b. And the third is 24k multiplied by k plus 1. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.